Hi folks, this is Red Wing Mac coming to you on my sixth broadcast. Uh, today I want to talk to you this evening. I want to talk to you about on my bedtime stories. <laughs> I want to talk to you about uh, not a mobster, but a newspaper reporter by the name of John Cass. Uh, Mike Burns brought him up to me in an article that he wrote. Evidently he googled up in his searches on the Tribune and it can be Googled up. I've seen it there. It's been for years. But it was done uh, in June of 2007. And in that article, uh, John Cass referred to me uh, in my pink and flushy self. Um, basically, he was kind of saying that I was gay, but uh, he never said those words. Um, what he did say was that I looked like an insect on the head of a pin on the courtroom sketches and he gave a lot of personal opinions and you know people that give opinions if it's an editorial I can understand it and usually you have a chance to respond and I can understand that but he didn't uh, it was a very unsavory article I wouldn't even thought about it if Mike hadn't brought it up to me but uh, the truth of the matter is it doesn't make me look very good it doesn't make me sound very good and it definitely asked some questions, and let's set the record straight. As it says in my book, I contacted uh, the FBI in uh, 1971, um, and I did tell them about Ken Hansen and what he had said to me. And during that period of time, uh, John Osborne, my handler, uh, on the second court date in 2002, uh, he came in to testify. Um, the attorneys did just decided that they didn't want to use it or whatever. I don't know what really happened on that one. But uh, in his article, he said some accounts have this, some accounts have this. And uh, Gene O'Shea wrote something about a book. But he never quoted Gene O'Shea. There's no quote most marks in this article, none at all. So basically, you know, he's a garbage reporter as far as I'm concerned. The guy's got no class. But uh, <laughs> Mike wanted me to talk about him. He was going to post the article. And Mike didn't have very many nice things to say about it, um, but then again, you know, not many people have. Uh, John Cass, I understand, is not very well liked, but also uh, I can tell you, I, I spoke to John at home uh, before this article was written, and he certainly didn't give me any of any opinions like this over the phone, talking to me directly. But it's that's the kind of guy he is. He's just a newspaper hack, or he was. I don't know what he's doing now. But at any rate, uh, it's freedom of speech. He can say anything he wants. Dependence by near the sword. But also, uh, now this is my chance to respond. Uh, what I would tell you, though, is, uh, I don't know, John's uh, Mr. Cass is not even worth call calling him Mr. Cass. To me, he's a piece of garbage. If I saw the article was written about him, any other article, I wouldn't read it because I know it's not true and accurate. But a lot of our newspaper articles are not true and accurate, but he lends his emotions to it, or his, uh, I don't know, his uh, personal feelings, or something to get a rise out of people. And that's his business. Anyway, um, that's part of my bedtime story. The other part is, whoever told me uh, that my chair needed uh, WD-40 because it squeaked, I don't use WD-40, I use T9. Uh, T9 is a much better product, it's 10 times better than WD-40, and it's not exactly easy to find, but you can look it up on Amazon, they do have it. Uh, that's, that's part of that battle story, but truth of the matter is, getting back to John Cass, uh, I was surprised that Mike, Mike brought it up to me. So he's going to post the article, and you're going to have the interview or my say-so, or whatever, my comments. And thank you very much. Uh, thank you folks that have uh, enlightened, been enlightened by my book. Um, it is available at redmovement.com. Um, at redmovement.com, you get a personalized uh, uh, autograph. I'll autograph it directly to you. And uh, if you buy it through Amazon, I, Amazon has it on Prime, so and you can order it through Barnes and Noble. But anyway, thank you so much, and have a great evening, and God bless you.